Find them, chase them, and sink them. Just above the beat of your heart, you hear hostile propellers churning through calm seas. At any second, the first depth charge will explode. Your watch ticks. Sweat rolls into your eyes. As the enemy's sonar ping intensifies, you hold your breath, realizing the pressure of an unmerciful sea is all around you. Such is your life as a commander in Silent Service, the submarine simulation. Silent Service offers three game modes, torpedo and gun practice, convoy actions, and war patrols. Each of these offers a variety of options to customize your experience, such as allowing dud torpedoes or only allowing repairs when in port, as well as adjusting the overall difficulty level. My favorite mode is the war patrol mode, where you select a sub located in a certain port and patrol the waters looking for enemy ships. The controls in Silent Service are mostly cursor based while on the map screen or on the periscope screen you can control your sub's speed, heading, and depth by navigating the cursor and pressing the A button. While on the map screen you can also toggle between multiple levels of zoom from patrol level to tactical level. You can also control the time scale which the simulation is running at by using the F and N buttons in this orange circle. Your sub is equipped with two types of weapons, deck guns and torpedoes. Your torpedoes are limited, so use them wisely. If you press select while on the map screen, you'll switch to a view of the interior of your sub where you can check the status of your submarine and its vital systems. Something to be wary of is that operating underwater drains your sub's battery faster, so you'll only be able to remain submerged as long as the battery holds out. If you're close enough to the surface, you can also take a peek through the periscope to get a view of what's going on around you. You can also check a log of the ships you've sunk during your mission. There is no music while you're sailing around in your sub, and you'll be subjected to the noise of your sub's engines the entire time. This sound gets pretty grating after a while. As far as visuals go, you'll just be staring at blips and bloops on a map, trying to close the distance between you and the enemy ships. When you finally catch up with them, it's time to go into periscope mode and unleash the full fury of your arsenal. Silent Service is the first submarine simulation game I've ever played, so I can't comment on what it does right or wrong in that regard. However, what I can speak to is that the game overall is mostly just waiting around, either patrolling for enemy ships or trying to get close enough to the enemy convoys to finally engage in combat. Maybe I lack patience, but I just felt bored unless I was actively engaging in combat with the enemy and even then I was fairly unimpressed. One thing I did find pretty neat was that when entering your name in the high score screen, it features the letters corresponding Morse code and it even plays the Morse code if you select the letter. I think it speaks volumes that the best thing I can say about Silent Service is that the high score screen is kinda neat. I give Silent Service a drowsy <sighs> 2 out of 5.